Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into the only five bourbons you need according to Reddit. But before we do that, please do me that favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate the support. But let's get in today's video. So we are doing the only five bourbons you need according to Reddit for the year 2023 today. I know I've already done this 2021, 2022, but this is going to be different because honestly, my opinions change drastically every single year. Not, not entirely, maybe not drastically. That might've been a little bit of a over, you know, exaggeration of a term, but things do change. Opinions change. You find new whiskey, new stuff gets released. So Evidently, things things are bound to change no matter what. So with that being said, I am bringing you a list of my only five bourbons in the year 2023. So let's kick it off with none other than that daily drinker. And my daily drinker is a relatively new one to me, but honestly, I've been enjoying the crap out of it. And that is Doc Swinson's Blender's Cut. I like the crap out of this bottle. Yes, this is 115 proof, $50 bourbon, $49.99 in my area. Why is this my daily drinker? Honestly, I don't drink daily. I don't drink daily. I try not to at least. So, some, some weeks I drink daily and that's an unhealthy week. So I don't like to drink all the time. I like to try to give myself like, hey, you're you're drinking on your filming days, and then maybe on like Friday nights, maybe Saturday nights, but like outside of that, you're sober because you, you need to like, you know, balance the good and bad and, you know, balance the amount of water you drink with the amount of, you know, bourbon you consume. So recently, I've been finding myself drinking less and less whiskey, and with that, I've been drinking higher quality whiskey. I'm no longer just butt chugging Old Forester 100 proof. Not that there's anything wrong with that if we're being completely honest because Old Forester 100 proof is awesome, but it's always been my daily sipper, but not anymore, not anymore. Now, I'm starting to go after things that are a little bit like still on the budget she side. So this is $49.99. So this is still kind of on the budget she side of whiskey, but it's much better than Old Forester 100 proof, has a little bit more kick and a little bit more flavor profile. So on those days that I am drinking, I can actually sit down and like really enjoy and really tear apart the whiskey more than you can with like Old Forester 100 proof. Again, it's not like the most phenomenal whiskey, but it is better than that in my opinion, because it's a, you know, five-year-old MGP blend at 115 proof, which there's nothing wrong with that. MGP blends at 115 proof are just chef's kiss amazing amazing i i'm i'm starting to become a really big fan of mgp i'm a little bit behind the train but i'm starting to become a big fan and then after that bottle one to impress your guest so you have guests coming over you want something to kind of impress them a little bit and honestly i don't really have that many tater bottles that are going to impress someone but the one i do have that i kind of gravitate towards when i have guests coming over is knob creek 12 year old this bottle fan freaking tastic 12 year old knob creek there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that i have like a 14 and a half year old knob creek store pick that is like one of my top tier bourbons of all time i love this stuff this is fantastic it is only like 70 bucks and it's relatively findable too but the reason I think it is kind of like an impress your guest is because a lot of people know that Knob Creek. They know Knob Creek 9-year-old 100 proof. Like that's a huge bottle. Like you can literally buy that bottle at Costco in a handle form. Everyone knows the 9-year-old 100 proof bottle. And this is like the big brother of it. It's significantly better too. So much better. I mean, it's also like triple the price, but like for good reason. It's much better of a product. And the reason I think it's really good is because, well, it's an upgrade of that bottle that everyone already knows about. And on top of that, it is also 12 years old. So it does kind of bring that like extra little bit of like age and punch to it that the other bottles don't bring. And it's only 100 proof. So it's not going to knock any of your friends or family or your guests on their ass because it's not too proofy. I think it's, it's a great intermediary kind of like around the middle tier, just great, kind of impressive, but also approachable bourbon. I think that's why it's a great guest bourbon. And then after that, you need 
a cheap mixer. My cheap mixer, Wild Turkey 101. Wild Turkey 101 is phenomenal. Absolutely love Wild Turkey 101. It is an incredible pour. It is, I know like this isn't like the daily drinker, but this bottle could also be a daily drinker along with Old Forester 100 proof. I like this in cocktails because it has a little bit more of like a cinnamony, almost nutty-ish kick than a lot of other budget bourbons that are like this quality for this price. I like it. I think it stands out really good in a cocktail because of that like little bit of that cinnamony backbone that a lot of other ones don't have. It is very vanilla-y nowadays, but I still think it goes really, really well in cocktails. And again, it's only 20 bucks, so you're not really losing much with that. And then after that one, Friday night pour. It's been a long week. You need something to kind of relax, kind of kick back, enjoy your time with. Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I don't care which batch. This particular one is batch C921. It doesn't matter what batch. These are all Barrel Proof 12-year-old Heaven Hill products, and they're all awesome. They're all like this like nutty peanut butter cup. It's like bougie Reese's peanut butter cups. These are some of my favorite bourbons, but since they are kind of, they release a new batch every single year, they're kind of like on the teetering of being a limited release, but not quite a limited release, but very close to a limited release. And I think these are really, really great. And they're kind of findable, kind of not. So that's why it's a Friday night pour, not like a daily sipper or like a impressive type sipper because there's not really much impressive about getting a bottle of these because they are still, again, findable, but they're incredible and they're high proof. So you kind of want to like not drink them all the time, but also like you don't really need to savor them because guess what? They're just gonna come out with a new batch in a few months. And then after that one, the final one on this list that is going to be your celebratory pour, your celebration, you know? Whenever you decide you wanna celebrate something, this is gonna be the pour you go to. And the one I've recently realized that I'm a huge fan of and I keep going to this, this year's batch and last year's batch, Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. This bottle is incredible. I absolutely love the heck out of these, especially 2022's batch. Phenomenal. Best bourbon of the year, in my opinion. This stuff is amazing. It's everything you want out of like a Brown Foreman Old Forester product. This stuff is like waffles, maple syrup, heavy bananas, little bit of oak, little bit of chocolatey. Again, it's like every perfect Brown Foreman product wrap up in one. Last year's batch, the 2022 batch, has so far been my favorite, and that's the one I would go to if you can get one of these. And again, these are a little bit harder to find, but they're a yearly release, so it's possible you're gonna find them. I mean, I don't really hunt much, and I found them 2021 and 2022, and I'm fully expecting I'll find one in 2023. But yeah, that is my list of only five bourbons you need according to Reddit. And to break that down really quickly one more time, my daily drinker is gonna be Doc Swinson's Blender's Cut, a fantastic five-year-old MGP blend that's just crazy for $49.99. Totally enjoyed the heck out of that. Impress your guest, Knob Creek 12-year-old. A 12-year-old, 100 proof Knob Creek blend for like 60, 70 bucks in most areas. Fantastic, slightly like, you know, impressive, but like not really. It's just something that like most guests would be able to drink and they're probably gonna think are cool. And if your guests are like whiskey nerds, they're still gonna like it because Knob Creek 12 is phenomenal. And then cheap mixer, Wild Turkey 101. Fantastic, fantastic budget pour. Makes great cocktails because again, it has that like extra heavier like rye spice, a little bit of cinnamon, some nuttiness that kind of makes it stand up in cocktails a little bit better along with that 101 proof makes it great for mixing with cocktails. And then Friday night pour, Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. Literally do not care what batch. They're all pretty freaking awesome. Some obviously better than others, but that's just kind of how it is with a lot of whiskeys that you know kind of do batch products is some batches are going to be better than others i think most of theirs are pretty freaking incredible i mean they're 12 year old barrel proof products so they're all going to be pretty freaking incredible and i enjoy heaven hills products a lot but yeah 
doesn't matter what batch, they're all pretty freaking good, and it's a great pour for Friday night. And then celebration-wise, Woodford Batch Proof. Specifically, Woodford Batch Proof 2022, if you can find it, because I think that one is particularly the best. But 2021 was also great. I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring in 2023 with these, because this is like everything you want a Brown Foreman product, Woodford Reserve, or Old Four Store product to taste like. This is them hitting the nail on the head. Best Brown Foreman product I've had yet. If there's better ones, please let me know down below. Hopefully I'll be able to find them, but so far this is my favorite. But that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor. Like, comment, subscribe. That helps us out a ton and we seriously appreciate the support. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought about my list. Also, let me know down below, what would your five be now that we're in the year of 2023? Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff are, again, down there, as always. That is a wrap for today's video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.